Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. GoCom just sent over three walkie-talkies. My kids and I have been playing with these for about two weeks now, and we have thoroughly enjoyed them. They've been dropped so many times, and they're still working quite well. So let's go ahead and unbox this and take a look at the GoCom walkie-talkies. GoCom sells lots of different styles of walkie-talkies, but this one was a pack of three and uh, I thought that was gonna be perfect for me and the kids. So we've already opened these two and got them going, and I left this one right here uh, untouched so we can add the batteries and you can see how all that is accomplished. But this set comes with three walkie-talkies. Each of them have a headset, which we'll dive into. They each have a clip, so you can wear that around on your clothing. And here is a little data cable. It's got an instruction booklet. Each of them came with a three pack of rechargeable batteries. And then here's the interesting thing. It has a recharging uh, station that only has two spots. So you can only charge two of them at a time, which uh, shouldn't be a problem unless you are got three people out in the woods really using them uh, pretty steady. So let's go ahead and open up this little packet of rechargeable batteries and get those installed to this unit that doesn't have a battery yet. <laughs> as soon as I brought these out of the box, my kids went crazy. They love this kind of thing. Um, but they are adult radio, so you can uh, certainly use them for hunting, fishing, you know, doing snow sports and all kinds of stuff. So this cable is the USB charging cable. It's just going to attach to the back here and it's a uh, standard USB mini. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Ah, there we go. All right, so I got that installed. Now on the front of the walkie talkie, it does have a uh, piece you need to peel off, just like that. And then on the back, uh, first of all, I'm going to open up the battery door by clicking that to the side. And then it does have the indication down here for the direction. So we've got this right here, goes like that. And then we're gonna go, next one is gonna go up. And then we've got this going down like that. And we're simply replace that back cover and snap that into position. So uh, then also your clip back here just fits in the top and then slides down and it should make a click. And to get that back off, there's a tab right there that should allow you to get to that pretty easy. So let's walk around the walkie talkie and see the features that it has. Let's go over the features of this walkie talkie. So up here, you have your antenna. And then if you turn to the back, you've got the clip for clothing. Here are the two metal pieces where it will be charged in that charger the lock for the back door. There is a carabiner holder down here or you could put it on some kind of strap. If you turn over here is your push to talk button. Over here is a USB so you can charge this individually. Up here on the top, you've got the accessory port for the headphones and the mic input. This is your flashlight. It calls it a lamp, but flashlight. You've got your screen with lots of different readout there on the front. This is the call or power button. Here's your flashlight button. Over here is the menu and lock button. You've got your monitor scan and then up and down arrows right here. And that pretty much is all of the exterior features of this radio. So the first thing I wanna do is show you the flashlight here on this unit. So I've got the lights just dimmed. If you push lamp, it will turn that on. It's enough to read by and if you had to, you could find your way on a trail it would not be uh, very easy because of the amount of light this thing puts out. Um, but for reading, that would definitely do okay. Press that button again to turn it off. Okay, let's go over some of the options that are available here in the menus. So your menu button right here is what you're gonna access everything with. And to okay something, you just push the PTT button over here, or you can click the menu again to go to the next option and it will save whatever you have set. So the screen currently displays, we're on channel one with the uh, interference emitter number one as well. And battery indicator shows that we have two bubbles in there and it's currently on the high power setting. So let's push menu once. 
and that will allow us to change the channel. Let's go to three, menu again. We can change that uh, interference emitter to three or whatever, it's got a bunch of codes in there. Menu again, this is the call tone, I believe. Yeah. So the radios in your set will all ring to that uh, sound. Let's leave it on the uh, Super Mario Fireball setting there. All right, the uh, VOX, uh, Voice Operated Transmission. I'm gonna leave it on the setting where it has to have the button press instead of just uh, starting to transmit as soon as you start talking. So uh, it timed out. Let's go ahead and push menu again. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. Now, uh, you can monitor multiple channels, but we're just going to leave that alone. High or low power to save battery. I'm gonna put it on low for now. And then it's back to our main one here. So now that's just the main settings. There are also plenty of other things like a weather radio mode. So in order to do weather radio, we're going to uh, long press the lamp. It also has a little uh, weather symbol right here. All right, nothing seems to be coming through on the weather right now. That feature is available in the US and in Canada as well. Now, there are other features here, but I think that will pretty much get us through for what the average person is going to use. Now, there is some other information available here in the booklet, like, uh, for example, uh, talking and listening, or I showed you how to turn on the radio, um, but if you just simply press the uh, up or down, you can turn the volume settings up or down. And uh, so then I'm gonna keep it on three because that seems to be pretty good. And there's the monitor button. Uh, if you press that, it will scan through everything. Nothing's happening at the moment. Okay, and then let's see, talk range will depend basically on if you have anything in the way or not. All right, that's enough talk, let's go outside and well, talk. So I'll um, set up the camera and my mic with one of the um, radios and then I'll head off somewhere and uh, talk to it. I'm also gonna go behind the house and we'll give that a test as well. When we come back down here, we may uh, try out one of the headpieces and see how that does. And then um, whenever I have somebody else around, I may show these again with a little clip and see if I can drive off somewhere and still hear a couple miles away. Okay, I'm gonna leave one of these radios right here next to the mic. I don't think there's gonna be any interference between those two. I don't know though, it is a wireless mic. Um, so now you can hear what I say with this other radio. I'm gonna walk over here a bit and talk, but first of all, let me push the call button. All right, that works out quite well. It is very loud. And then I'm gonna step over here just a bit and push the talk button. Test one, two, three, test one, two, three. Cool. Um, so the volume is quite loud on both of these and you should be able to hear that pretty good. I'm gonna head up the hill over here, talk for a second, and then I'm gonna go behind the house and talk again. And there shouldn't be any slowdown or anything, but uh, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Now remember whenever you are talking on these that they are basically public, so anybody else with the same radio can access this channel and uh, be able to talk to you and hear you. Um, so just keep that in mind as you are using these. The GoCom company has a set of these and you can buy quite a large pack. I think it was 24 radios maybe, but anyway, uh, this pack came with three. Okay, I'm on the top of the hill. This is somewhere around 200 feet. Okay, I am now completely behind the house. You should still be able to hear me just fine, even though the house is blocking the signal. There are several more audio options that I did not cover. For instance, you can turn off the sound that does this. 
And you can also turn off some of the other sounds that may be annoying if you are out in the woods and not wanting to have your wildlife scared away as you're uh, using the radios. So let me go ahead and plug up one of the headsets and we'll try that out. And then uh, I'll see if I can find somebody to talk to me and we can do a distance test on these. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out one of these headsets and see how well those work on these radios. I'm hoping that I can put the mic up to one and I'll step outside and talk and we can both experience this at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and open the port on the top for the accessory. Yeah, that's a really good uh, tight closure there. And the top of the headset has a uh, small jack. Looks like it's smaller than a, a 3.5. But I'm just gonna plug that up in the top. Okay, there you, go, there you go. Maybe you can see how that goes. Definitely not gonna be concealed. And so I can attach this down here to a belt and I may just uh, stick that in the pocket for ease of use today. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll push the talk button and see if it works here. Hey, can you hear me? Nope, not yet. Okay, first thing I did, turn the volume down because it was way too loud to be in my ear like that. And I just realized that you still have to push the talk button over here. The microphone button on the headset itself does not seem to activate the radio. So um, I just basically hold down that button and then I'm able to use the microphone here as the mic, just not push that button to activate it. So um, you just have to reach down, push the talk button, and then it picks up here on this mic. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove my camera mic so that hopefully you'll be able to pick up what's said right here on the earpiece. I think it's still set to pretty loud, so um, should be no problem for you hearing that. I'm just gonna put it right about there and you should be able to hear it. I'm gonna walk outside and say something and you can hear what it's like out of that earpiece. Okay, okay. put it down again. here and just speaking into the mic. I'm gonna put the mic down and I'm gonna put my head up so I'm not only talking into it directly. Can you hear me now? Okay, my camera mic wasn't quite close enough for you to hear that uh, as well as I can hear it in the ear. So, um, but that is definitely working well. I was hoping that the button on the headset would work to make a call, but it didn't. Um, but I think it's gonna be just fine. Just reach down and push the button on the radio itself. Okay, let me find somebody to go with me and we'll do a long distance test. I don't know, maybe two, three miles. Uh, so from one town to the other here, it's about, uh, what, 25 miles, I think, but there are some pretty serious mountains in the way. Um, so I doubt we can talk from town to town, but we should be able to talk for a few miles in between. The instruction booklet says to turn the radios off before charging, and then just place them into the charger here. And I just saw the little battery indicator pop up, so it is currently charging. Let's do a second one here. Let's see. Yep, that's popped up there as well. Now it also says that every three or so months of dormant or non-use, you should charge them up again just to make sure they stay healthy. My sister's gonna help me test out the distance of the GoCom walkie-talkie. She's gonna have one of these at her house on the front porch, and I'm gonna drive up the road and stop every mile to see how well this thing is picking up. Now, we have mountains here in North Carolina. And so I anticipate that that will interfere with these pretty quick. The line of sight is 16 miles, so hopefully we will get at least four or five miles up the road with good signal from these. So let's go up here and test it out. The odometer now says one mile away from the house, but I am behind this mountain and it has already cut off the signal. So watch this. Hey, can you hear me? Anything from here? Yep, so line of sight has been removed and we're unable to uh, pick up anything because of this big mountain right here. All right, let me drive a different direction and we can do this again. I reset the trip meter and now we are a little over a mile away with uh, a number of mountains in between us. Let me go ahead and give this a try. Okay, can you hear me from this point? Yes, I can hear you clearly. 
All right, thank you. I'm gonna go about another mile down the road and see what happens. Okay. All right, we're now a little bit over two miles away, but uh, there are a couple of mountains over here that are blocking your line of sight. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you. All right, there we go. So I think that's about as good as we're gonna get from this distance here. All right, I'm back down to within about a half mile. How is it? I can hear you very clearly. All right, thank you. I'm all the way back. You speak up yourself. You speak up yourself. <laughs> all right, let me finish up this video and you guys can play with them. No. <laughs> yeah. So within about a half mile here in the mountains, the GoCom works very well. At two miles, it was pretty choppy because I was behind some pretty serious uh, trees and mountains. But I think if I were on the highway, this thing would pick up for five, six miles easy. So line of sight is 16 miles. On... <laughs> the kids love these things. Anyway, if you want to check out the GoCom walkie talkies, I have a link in the description down below. This company also has multiple different styles and colors for you to check out, um, but they seem to be well-made. They are waterproof and uh, multiple channels, different uh, frequencies you can turn to so you can have uh, privacy settings and lots of audio different, um, lots of audio things you can do as well. So thanks for watching. I'm Seth with Land of House and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm going to give this to the kids so they can play for a while.